today I've got a problem from the TMUA. We want to find the maximum value of this function f of x, which is 1 over 5 to the 2x minus 4 times 5 to the x plus 7. And we've got six options here. Uh, we're going to dive right into solving this. There's a that's kind of basically only one way you want to solve this. What you definitely don't want to do is try and differentiate this function and set it equal to zero. What we notice is the denominator here is essentially a hidden quadratic. So, and because we're looking at a maximum slash minimums of a function, we are going to complete the square. So this is going to be five to the X minus two all squared minus four plus seven. That's just plus three like so. Okay, so this is just f of x. We're trying to find the maximum value of this function, so of this fraction. So that means because the numerator is positive and the denominator is positive, we need to make the denominator as uh, small as possible. Because to make this as big as possible, we need the denominator to be as small as possible. What's the smallest the denominator can be? Well, I've got something squared plus 3. Now, this something squared has to be at least 0. So the minimum that the denominator can be is 3. But we just want to be a bit careful about this. Can this bracket here actually equal zero? And thankfully it can here because there is a real solution to five to the x equals two. And so therefore um, the, the maximum value of this fraction is one over three. So the answer is C. They could have made this question a little bit harder if they'd made this a plus sign here. So if this was 5 to the 2x plus 4 times 5 to the x, and then that there would have been a plus and everything else would have been the same. Because now the minimum is no longer 3, or the, the minimum of the denominator is no longer 3, because while well, the bottom here can't be equal to 0, this thing, this thing in the bracket that's being squared can't be equal to 0, because 5 to the x plus 2 is at least 0. Uh, sorry, it's, it's going to be at least 2. In fact, it's going to be strictly bigger than 2. So, in fact, the maximum here, um, if this was the case, well, it can't actually be attained, but it would be when 5 to the x plus 2 uh, is equal to 2, which can't really be attained. So, let's just say it's bigger than 2 for all values of x. And so, therefore, the minimum would be 1 seventh in this instance, um, or the maximum, sorry, of this function f of x. I'm getting confused, but it would be uh, an upper bound that can't be attained. Um, but anyway, that's how we solve this. The answer here is a third, but they could have made this much more difficult.